12, 5, negative 1, 3. The flight numbers for some of the most popular discs ever made. Whether you get them up to speed and you throw 500, or you gotta throw a full flight flex line just for 250, the destroyer type disc is one that everyone wants to throw and every company wants to compete with. Today, we're gonna be talking about one of the newest 12, 5, negative 1, 3 discs to hit the market. There's three keys of disc golf. Driving, approaching, and putting. We need all three to do this disc sport. This is the new Birdie Disc Golf Supply Reach. You guys know how I love the Birdie Disc Golf Supply Ultra, and this is their new prototype 12, 5, negative 1, 3 driver. Out here at Patty Canyon, gonna be throwing some holes today. Hole number one, we're gonna see if we can hit it on a couple forehand lines, kind of just test out the flight, give you my initial thoughts, test the stability. Oh yeah, that's got some stability to it. You never know, good little skip at the end. You never really know with the 12.5, negative one, three, because I think some companies, they make that disc and it just doesn't have any integrity. You don't want them to be absolute beefcakes because then they just don't go anywhere. You probably got to be the 250 full flight guy. Based on that throw alone, definitely stable, but uh, we'll see. So we're also going to be testing out some other new molds today. We got our hands on a Skywalker. Shout out to the boy Casey White, new signature FD1. I'm a big fan of the C-Line FD1, so I'm excited to try this one out. We also picked up the Discmania DD. Now this one, 116 negative 32, is a disc that I'm super excited for. I actually bought it for Paula because if you saw yesterday's video or maybe the one before, she was ripping some laser beam forehands and I figured a slightly straight to understable distance driver might be the ticket to get her onto the FPO Tour. As for the rest of the bag, we got some other kind of not necessarily new discs, but new, new, Backups, I guess. We're testing out some backups of some stuff that I already throw, revisiting some old friends. We're just out here chucking some new Frisbees. What? Birdie reach. Try and hit this one on a backhand. Also, this one, 172. The blue one is a 175. This one, slightly more dome. Oh, yeah. Okay. These things flip up to flat and then definitely like good low speed stability really hooks up towards the end. Try and hit this one on a little bit of a flex. Did I hit it? Oh, I almost threw it good. Darn. Also testing out the Supra from Finish Line Discs. I haven't thrown this disc since I made the video on it. If you saw that probably like three months ago. So we're giving this another try. Laser beam. Oh God. Make sure those putters are stuck back in the hand, guys. Don't, don't let them slip out and putt like a jackass. So this Buzz SS right here, it's got a tournament stamp from 2013. If you're an OG on the channel, you've probably seen this one because I tested it out very shortly back in the day, very similar feel to my blue team stamp Buzz SS, but now this is kind of a freshy oldie, hoping that it's much more stable so I can hit it on some forehand lines. We'll go base plastic, not zone. Go in. <laughs> the, throw it, <laughs> the throw it straight into the ground and then almost ace shot, classic move. Definitely more stability than the blue guy. I like it. I like it. You guys two putter or three putter type guys when it comes to practice. Usually I'm a two guy, but I had a third, so I figured might as well bring it. More practice, the better. Oh, got it. Let's go. Let's go. I don't even need to practice. <laughs> I did have a comment on video a couple days ago about how you used to be able to relate to my putting and now now I my mental has just switched and I've been been improving to say the least. I might still doubt myself at some times, but 
it is very true that I've felt so much better on the putting green, on the put Guys, I can't talk. What the fuck? But I felt better on the putting green as of late, really just being more confident, giving them a chance. Obviously, feeling much smoother always helps. But yeah, we're feeling good. So thanks for noticing. So this is the reach. This is the wing profile. Super smooth kind of ring, not too much of like a little hook right there, which is something I don't like. I like when it has, I just, I guess it's just flatter. I don't know. And this plastic, I don't think it's the same as the Ultra or the Strike plastic. It feels different. The tooling's different. Super nice, like almost, I think it's glow. I actually don't know, but it feels very good. Nice, like medium firm top, stiff, medium stiffness rim. I like it. New C-Dub Skywalker. We're just gonna hit it on a nice little chip forehand here. Oh no, my my nose ring just came undone. It almost fell out. White boy problems. 75% white boy problems. And I just absolutely aired the shit out of it. Felt nice though. <laughs> so here is my C-Line FD1. One of my favorite fairway drivers on the market right now for like that overstable straight to consistently torque resistant and overstable not anything like a firebird or anything but love this disc i was somewhat surprised when the skywalkers came out because i could have sworn in casey's initial video he said the 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 skywalkers were supposed to be more overstable than the sea lines but then once they all came out i saw all the reviews and everyone's saying they're supposed to be like a straighter version this one i've been throwing for maybe four months now, ever since before they came out, Casey gave me this one back in Nashville. So it's got some wear and tear. We're gonna try and compare them later, kind of figure out the stabilities, but FD1, super good disc. All right, Skywalker did not quite, didn't quite dial this one up. Let's see if we can hit a putt, hopefully. Yup. Oh God. Never mind, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you know, you know we're moving in the right direction when I say oh god after a putt and it still goes in rather than oh god and I launch it 50 feet past the basket. We're moving up. Oh god, we're doing tryouts over here at the Frisbee Club for the straight to slightly understable uh, forehand approach disc. You know I've been loving the Shaman lately, but the Shaman I don't think has much more than maybe maybe 175 feet on it because any more like torque or spin and it kind of just dies out turned over. So we're debating on if that's the right disc or if we should get you know a knot zone kind of beat it up. I don't know but tryouts, open tryouts. Might try a jokery. I don't know, I did feel one the other day, a little too deep for my liking, I think, so. I mean, that's parked. You'd think I could flick a glitch. I can't, we're gonna, we're gonna try. I mean, that wasn't bad, but it wasn't like a good throw, I guess, I don't know. Darn it. What? Gross, glitch. Nope. See guys, putting's improving, but it's still not perfect. Not zone though. Absolutely parked. Yes, I rifled that first putt and almost missed it. Putting's fun when you don't totally suck at it. Nice. You guys have probably heard me say how every time I th I'll like throw a fan grip and then it'll fall out of my hand. Haven't been good at fan grips lately. Whereas in the past I've felt pretty 50-50 on like fan grip power grip. It doesn't affect it. It's more of like type of shot I want to throw. Lately fan grip useless. So we're going to try and like kind of dial it back in. That was smooth. I really like the fan grip 
to power down on mids. Kind of throw my flippy mids like Buzz Assass or that Supra, throw them on a hyzer with the fan grip, kind of like lower speed, and then really let them like kind of push hyzer, but you're not gonna get that like flip up the flat and late turn. It's like a way to utilize the same disc for two types of shots. Supra finish solid. Guys, this basket, I swear, is like missing chains. Ooh, I don't know how I caught that. Ooh, look at that. Gross. <laughs> Gotta hit those comebackers, guys. This basket, like the Mach 5 or 2, can't remember what one it is. You gotta hit a little right side and let it pull in because the, the pull is like, there's, there's four or five inches of openness if you hit dead center. Or low left. So this hole's a pretty good one to kind of get like a little flex line. You gotta hit this center gap, push it right, and then kind of stall forward. I don't think it's far enough to quite get a full flight on these FD ones, but we're gonna hopefully hit the line, kind of see how they fight out. <laughs> like five trees oh that is a lot flippier wow now we know because my sea line fd1 does not fly like that also if you're wondering why i'm not putting on every hole it's because some of these shots are horrible and i only have like a hundred foot no gap through the woods shot and so i'm just picking them up guys we're just out here chucking supra Yeah. See, good disc just flies so similar to the Buzz SS, and I feel like it has slightly less glide. Thought I was getting a dead center spit. This hole I really like for both of the reaches, the DD and the FD ones, because it's either just a nice stock forehand hyzer up to the basket or a nice hard flex backhand with something like an FD one. Man, that was a good flight to demonstrate the stability because it was holding that push, but starting to come back. And I hit the only tree in the fairway. <laughs> All right, so I'm anticipating if I hit this the same way, should keep that, that right push. Wow. Super pushy. Barely had to throw that, and it's parked. Wow. Effortless distance. <sighs> Skywalker, right on circle's edge. What? <sighs> there it is. Oh, missed it. <laughs> DD, little Peach. This thing's good. Glitch. I might go in. Oh, I think I hit the pole. Reviewing discs is a weird thing because you come out to the course, throw a bunch of discs that you don't really know what they're gonna do. And then if you throw them bad, you're just like, oh, I suck at disc golf. But it's like, bro, you have no clue how these things fly. One obvious good practice technique, if you get a peach, Tap that one in, take a few steps back, and keep practicing. And then you get better at putting. It's crazy. Got through the trees. Absolute puddle top. It's pretty new, but I've just been flexing it all around, trying to beat it in. Let's see how it flies. I think it made it more stable. Ah. <laughs> oh.
There it is. What? Come on. There it is. What? Come on. <laughs> Gotta knock the dust off of that bad girl. Low left pocket. Low left pocket. Gonna hopefully see if I can hit these skywalkers on a nice, just like push line. Kinda aired it. That sneaks through everything that's the dirtiest line ever. What? There it is. Yup, let's go. He's a fucking nerd. Guys, the sea line FD1 was so sneaky. Literally got through everything. Not the best putt, but luckily there's no video on my scorecard. Talk to you later. Let's go. We're gonna take the backhand hyzer out here. Go in the hole. Oh! <laughs> and he takes cage from at least 300 feet. I don't know how far this is. Too tight. Get down in the hole. Oh, disc golf video, loud aircraft flying over top, handshake emoji between those two things. What the fuck was that putt? That, what? <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> So we decided to take things out to the field because it kind of felt like Patty Canyon wasn't necessarily the best course to demonstrate all the actual flights of these discs. So we got the Reaches, we got the Quasar, we got the DD and the FD1s. We're going to give them a few rips and really try and get the true flight characteristics shown. Prototype Reach 173. I just don't think I got a 12 speed arm right now, guys. I'm gonna try and hit this blue one on like a little flex pusher. Ugh. Okay, so that's pretty far, but I had, to, I had to put some steam into that. Quasar, massive flexor. Oh. God, that is beefy. It like wants to push. Like it wants to go far. And then as soon as it slows down, just hook. Oh. See, that is the flight that I love that disc for. Flex it over, it just fades back. Oh. See how that one kind of just holds the ante, still pushes out flat, but really just kind of holds the turn a little more than the C line. FD1 kind of on like a flex line. See how it kind of just pushes and then stalls out? Let's see how the Skywalker plays on that same style of flight. Wow, so much more turn. Guys, those reaches are beefy, which obviously is like what you want out of, you know, your 12.5 negative one three distance driver. Oh. That should go. Oh shit, sorry. Did not see you there. All right, I wanna get a good DD forehand shot here. Kinda see the stability. Okay, yeah. That was the most effortless distance. That's, that's literally like a sidewinder, but goes further. That thing feels good. I finally hit one on like an actual smooth, good throw and it flies amazing. I feel like I've either babied it just a touch or kind of just completely torqued it over, which yeah, with understable discs is kind of, you got to learn them a little bit. 
you know they're not as quite out of the box as you know a stable disc is going to be damn that thing is good I bought that for paula but like you'll, i might beat it in for her I'm not gonna lie i feel like it took me a little bit longer to figure out one that dd the reaches as well kind of the skywalker but it took me a little longer to figure these things out than it normally would for a disc i feel like i was throwing them around at patty i feel like i didn't have many good shots i was throwing them you know kind of how i thought they would fly and then straight up i was wrong which is kind of part of reviewing a disc i guess it's not always going to be like you go out there and you're just throwing them perfect right away because it's a brand new mold brand new disc you don't know how it's going to fly overall the reaches a lot more stable than I was expecting. I thought I'd get them, you know, kind of flip up and ride. Those things are beefy, so we'll see. We'll see, these are the prototypes. I don't know if the stock run is gonna come out in a different plastic, just a stock stamp. I really don't know much more information on them, but overstable, 12.5, negative one, three. The DD, I'm gonna go pick these up. That's about it for this video. I've been throwing too many damn frisbees today. I'm dicked, thanks for watching. We will uh, see you in the next one. We can work about oh. the party. Fuck.